guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 4 of season 2 of Fire Force. Go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. God damn, it's too many friends, but not enough. Oh, well, that sucks. Awful. Too many of them. Oh, fuck, damn. You think Inca's friend Panda made it out alive? I mean, even though the other dude, he, he got... Oh. <laughs> he got fucked up last week. Maybe Panda made it out. You never know. I mean, I hope so. I mean, he seems like an interesting side character, but... Who knows? He might die in this episode as well. I mean, that'd be really fucked up. I, I I wouldn't want him to die the same way his friend did because that was a real fucked up way to die. I mean, damn. One minute you live your less your best life and then dead. They said that. You see, it's even that. Mm -hmm. it just uh, shoot him in the dick.
I mean, you know what? I just want to say it. Nobody want to send Shinra some help, some backup, or some ish. Because I, I mean, Shinra can handle his own, and Ika doing her ish too. But I'm just saying. Yeah, we just had to show that again. God, her eyes are so pretty. Yeah. Mm. Right though. I feel like I'm looking at blood. She might run out of this. Of course! Because <laughs> she. Oh, fuck. I mean, hell, shit, she was smiling when you said that. So I wouldn't even be surprised if she got. Was that the same one that they wanted us to have or something? Well, 
Well, how the hell you? Just imagine that HP bar, man. Maki? <laughs> so Maki? <laughs> My bad! <laughs> oh, wait! No, Tom! Oh, my God! <laughs> Tom <Tell me> Maki! <laughs> Oh, her poor running joke. <laughs> I feel like somebody's still gonna complain about that today. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Uh, that running joke. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, unfortunately. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, I mean, unless she wants to ask me to see you. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God.
gotta get Inca. And of course, you're going for the phone, right? His jump was on God damn it, Inca. Mm. I figured this would happen anyway. I mean, because it, it just seems like the way she is, the person that she is. Yo, I'm looking at her, I'm like, yeah, you seem like you just gonna automatically want to go with them no matter what. She's still a cool character, though. Silly, I don't want to send back up for Shinra. I'm just saying. Hmm? Oh, I think. Oh, so you like your own thing. Okay. I'm for that.
exactly. Of course, she's gonna fucking run away. They go in a cliffhanger. I, I just, I know it. Think, what the fuck did I tell you? My God, when it gets so freaking good every single time, you want to end good and I'm just like yes like mm, mm, everything's so freaking good give me more no like cut you off oh my god okay Jagannot oh my god he's so freaking cute I love him oh my god please release a figure of him I want to be so cute or if it's not a figure release a plushie he's so adorable <laughs> oh my god but okay so now that Inka is like she really doesn't side with either um, shows, uh, shows cult, my bad, or Shinra. She's her own person and she wants to do her own thing. It's like how if you needed to choose a side, she's like the the middle one who's like, nope, fuck you too. I'm just gonna do my own fucking shit myself. Oh God. I mean, I hate the fact that they're taking her and now Shinra's really the only one left that they need to take. And of course, Shinra's not even going to go willingly. He's going to go down fighting no matter what. Um, two, how the hell are we going to beat the demon? Arnold, that's the biggest question I wondered ever since this thing showed up in this episode. I feel like with that, you need the back of that OB code because the four that are there, I mean, Yes, they can possibly go ahead and handle that because we've seen them all in combat and they do know how to handle their shit. But it ain't bad to ask for a little bit more help. I'm just saying. That's just me. But. See, the corner might defeat the shit out of him. I don't know. Maybe. But going back to the demon thing. The demon inferno. All four of these characters who are about to go against this thing. Like, they are really badass at what the hell that they do. I just, I don't know. Like, a little, like, 5% of me feels like it's not going to be enough. Because this is, a, like, I mean, this is something brand new, technically. And only like, because you're thinking about all the other ones that they've gone against. And, like, if we want to talk about HP with a life point ish like that, they're probably, like, like, the little small ones are maybe, like, this much. This demon one could be, like, this long or even longer for a freaking HP bar. I don't know. But, like, I just feel like, yeah, in the end, they're going to need help. I mean, come on. Somebody, like, Maki's gonna send some backup. I, watch it. Like, Maki's just gonna find something. Or, um, Valkan's gonna send something to Maki. And then Maki's gonna be like, I'm fucking coming. That's it. I don't know. I mean, but, like, I just... Yeah. A little teeny tiny bit of myself just thinks they can handle it. But I still think they're going to need help. I don't know. 
But we ain't gonna know until next week, which I fucking hate because like, <laughs> cause I want to know so bad what's gonna happen next. And I could read the manga and just be like, mm, I know what's gonna happen, but I, I don't. I really just, with this series, it's like with this and um, the one show that I'm not watching when it comes into fall because I've lost interest in it. Uh, I just don't want to read the manga. I don't want to know certain things and stuff. So that's why I'm like, let me... Like, the, even though I, I, I hate cliffhangers, I still love it because it keeps me wanting more and more. But, like, come on. Like, that fight was, like, we about to reach technically the climax of this fight with Shinra. So, I feel like, come on, you could have just given me, like, a little teeny tiny bit more before the episode ended. But I get it. No, it's a 30-minute episode and he's... <laughs> It goes by too fast. That's what I think. Almost every fire, like these last few Fire Force episodes, have been going too freaking fast. And the next thing you know, you're done with the episode, and you're just like, I feel like this was like five minutes. That's what it felt like to me. Even though it was a 24 minute episode, it felt like it was five, maybe three minutes long. And I'm just like, hold on, wait. I I, I feel like I need more. And that's just me. I don't know how many other people probably feel about that, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 4 of season 2 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Friday for episode 5. Bye, guys.